In this presentation, we're going to look at the PROC univariate uh, procedure, and we're going to do look at histograms in particular. Now, uh, what we're going to do is use PROC univariate. We're going to use the Virginica data set, and it's available at my website, kobriandublin.com. Now, we're just for the sake of brevity, we're just doing a few key things with this data set. So we're looking at the Virginica data set, and it comprises of four numeric variables. Now, the Virginica data set is a subset of the IRIS data set. Now, I just cut it down. I'm not using the entire IRIS data set for the sake of some, uh, just for the sake of simplicity. The two variables I'm going to use in this presentation are sepal len, uh, which is sepal length, and sepal width. Sepal width. The first two there. I'm not, I'm not going to really use the second two uh, variables in this presentation. The univariate uh, procedure, PROC univariate, summarizes, is used to summarize the data distribution of an analysis variable. Now, we are going to use it to construct histograms, and we're going to also use it to apply density curves to histograms. Now, there's other, quite a lot of other aspects to PROC univariate, uh, testing normality, summary statistics, and so on. Not going to deal with it in this presentation, just really for the sake of brevity, it's so... Uh, first off, I'm actually just going to talk about ODS, Output Delivery System, and um, some other presentations I haven't used it, but I decided to actually start using it more and more. So, the Output Delivery System is actually present your output as a HTML file. Uh, we're going to sort of, sort of see a bit of that here. So, ODS, HTML. So, I'm going to use HTML um, construction here, uh, our output. And so, we have ODS, HTML, and some specifications. And at the end, we have ODS, HTML, close, which shut, closes it off, switches it off. Uh, with HTML, we name the file, the output file, and it's a HTM file. And it's going to call, we're going to call it hists, hists for histograms. And the style is HTML blue. So moving on from that, uh, let's go to the uh, actual code itself. So it's this uh, set of code here. Now this is the first iteration of what we're going to do. And it's proc univariate is the name of the procedure. Okay. The name of the data set we're going to analyze is data equals Virginica. Okay, and don't forget the semicolon there. We're only going to look at two variables here. So we're just going to specify the variables. V VAR sepal len and sepal wid. Now, we're looking up specifically at histograms here. So I'm going to include the uh, specification histogram. Then we run it. Okay, so let's do that. Now, I have the Virginica data set already installed in SAS. Now, you can access this through my website there, but I'll just run this bit of code first. Okay. And again, you can find it through my website. So I'm just going to run this here. Okay. Now, uh, the copy, when I copy and paste it from my slides there, it doesn't um, uh, indent as the way, uh, the way I want it to. But anyway, so we're going to submit that. Now, you just probably saw it there for a second ago that we had the two... Uh, so this is sepal length, or sepal length, and this is sepal width. Okay, so those are the two... Um, histograms that we're constructing here. So and they came up here in the graph output. Now just as a remark actually, there's quite a bit of other output that comes as part of the sepal, uh, the, the PROC univariate procedure. And here's the moments, basic statistical measures, test for location, quantiles, extreme variables, and so on. There's the, uh, there's the uh, histogram as well. Uh, this is HTML, or the ODS HTML output, output delivery system. This is uh, an output delivery system. So just essentially a way of presenting the output. Now, we're not particularly interested in any of this here today. We're just looking at the um, uh, the histograms there. So that's the first part done. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually continue. I'm going to sort of apply a density curve. So what I'm going to do here is actually uh, add in this bit here. Uh, the additional specification uh, normal. So this applies a normal density curve to the histogram. So let's have a look at that. So I'm going to copy and paste this in again. Oops, wrong thing. Now I've got the SAS. Go back to my editor. Click on that. Replace all that there. Just I, I just added in the normal there. It doesn't indent, by the way, when I... It doesn't really matter. So let's go to graphs here and look at... So this is the old graphs. And what has happened here is that I've got new graphs here now. Sepal length in centimeters. And what we have here is a de normal density curve. 
And essentially what we're doing is matching up the histogram, visually sort of comparing the histogram and the density curve just to see how well the normal, uh, how well the, uh, the, the data set fits with the uh, assumption of normal distribution. And it seems to fit quite well there. Let's look at for the other variable. Again, the, uh, if it seems to fit reasonably well there with the um, the normal distribution curve and the histogram. What I'm going to do actually for the rest of this presentation is just quickly to see how I can um, improve the quality of the density curve here. Now, there's um, enhancing histograms. That'll be another presentation, but it's not really worth another presentation just to enhance <laughs> Uh, the normal probability uh, prob density curve here. So I'm just going to do that now. So what I'm going to do is just actually show how we can sort of improve it. What we can do here is actually just add some additional specifications. Color equals red, width equals 5, W equals 5. So this just actually just makes a thicker red density curve. And let's run that. There you go. Submit. So again, let's go down to the graphs and let's go right down to the bottom. So essentially what has happened there is I fitted a density curve there and you can see it's much thicker, it's much easier to identify and it's red. So that's what I've done there. Color equals red, width equals five. Let's just sort of look at the compare. This is a thin blue line. Now we have a thick red line. And essentially, how do we get that? We just additionally specify color equals red, W equals five. So that ends this presentation.